In this video, let's take a few of the concepts we've learned, so some of the basic steps and processes in Excel, and let's combine those to show why Excel is really powerful, what we can do with Excel to speed up our work. And what we're going to do is we're going to combine cell references into formulas and functions. So for instance, if I've got this problem, I need to add Juan's January sales. So I've got Juan here and January sales here in column E. It wants me to add Juan's January sales and Tiffany's January sales. So the problem is that these two are not next to each other. Tiffany's is down here and Juan's is two rows above it. So I just need those two. I don't want to include Dana or Kimberly. Well, what Excel allows me to do is to enter in a formula like we have in the past. I do the equals sign, and then I'm going to do sum. And sum is a very basic function we've gone over. I hit the tab key to get it to enter into the function mode. It says it wants number one and then number two. Well, rather than typing the number, I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell, and you can see it automatically fills in E4. I could have typed in E4, but it's more accurate to go ahead and click on the spot, uh, click on the cell that you want to use. That way it automatically captures the correct cell reference. And then I'm going to do comma because Tiffany is not next to Juan. I can't drag. I have to do a comma and uh, then go over here and click on Tiffany's. The reason I have to do that is I'm saying it's E4 and number two is E6. Okay, I don't want to select a range because they're not next to each other. I close parentheses and hit enter, and sure enough, 1000 plus 350 is 1350. Here's another great example of what's showing in my cell is not necessarily what I typed in the cell. So I have $1,350 uh, that's displayed in the cell, but if I click on it, I can always see in my formula bar up here that what I actually have in that cell is a formula equals sum. I'm going to hit the escape key to exit that mode. Now let's see if I wanted to, to uh, calculate the total of all January sales. Well, in this case I could drag uh, because I do want all of these ones that are touching. So I'm going to do equals sum tab. I'm going to click on one cell, hold down my left mouse and drag down to Kimberly and let go. And you can see that that cell reference, it does use the colon like we talked about for ranges. It starts at the top, E4 colon E7 and that represents that whole range. If I close parentheses and hit enter, I get 2,850. Now the nice thing about using cell references, in both of these cases, I've used cell references. So if I come in and I change Juan, let's say there was an error made and Juan actually had $2,000 worth of sales. I haven't hit enter yet, so it's not changing over here, but watch these cells. When I hit enter to confirm that change, they both update in real time. And that's the power of cell references, is I can have my table uh, that is related to the calculation. So I can use the table, I can make changes in the table, and because the table is related to this cell, to this formula, uh, it updates automatically. So just another example here, if I want to do all the sales in the table, I can do equals sum, and I'm going to go from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. You can see that that's what the cell reference does, E4 to G7 to represent that entire range close parentheses and equal, and that adds up all of it. Now, some of the other functions we used, we can also use here, and uh, they just make things faster so we don't have to do a bunch of math. So for instance, if I want the average of everything, I can do equals AV, and I see average in the list there, I can either keep typing or I can just click on it down here and hit tab, and I'm going to select the entire table, all those values, and close it and it gives me the average amount of sales. Like I said, if I come back up here and change this again to 1000, now all four of those formulas updated automatically and so did my average. We can do the same for max, if I just want the uh, max of January sales equals max, and then I drag January, close parentheses, enter, and if I want minimum for Juan and Tiffany, now I need two ranges, I'm going to do equals min I will drag one, and since they're not next to each other, I can do comma, and then I'm going to drag all of Tiffany's sales. So now I've got one range, comma, another range, I hit enter, and there is the minimum, and you can see that that uh, is correct, 350.